Hello friends, welcome to my new video on uh, MATLAB Simulink and today I am um, with my new video related to the electrical circuit theory and here in this uh, tutorial uh, you will learn about the simulation of different circuits in Simulink okay. and this is my circuit which I am going to simulate here, simulate here. Okay. So this is my uh, uh, problem, and this 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 is the normal problem you will find everywhere in the uh, electrical engineering, and uh, it is quite time-consuming and tedious uh, for solving it through our classical methods. So here we are going to solve through Simulink. Okay, that's all. Now let's go to Simulink here. Here in the Simulink drawing. Or simulating blocks, we use the different simulating blocks by dragging, drop, dragging and dropping in uh, the simulating file from the blocks. Okay, so the main thing is here is a breaker, disable the source. Okay, there's uh, um, a resistance inductor and the uh, current measurement device for measuring the loop current, capacitor, uh, similarly, the resistor. And register this is equivalent to this up. okay that's all there is no any difference and this is the score for the view now the most important thing is uh, you have to go this power wheel block this is very important to note sometimes you will find quite complex output voltages and very fluctuating voltage signals in your score this is due to uh, the preferences in, and you have to be very careful on checking box check box in these options okay so if you uh, want very rigorous solution or very mm, like the effect of mm, the breakers or the effect of these snowbirds or the effect of the switching devices then you're gonna uncheck these boxes but if you want to view a clear picture and like the, those picture, pictures you would get through your mathematical analysis, analysis from uh, your um, from your copy where you do the, all the solutions from classical method using Laplace transform or something else. So if you want to get a clear picture then you are gonna check all these boxes through. You are gonna disable this number since using devices, resistance and forward voltage drops. Okay, that's all. And in this simulation, I have used the solver of okay. Let's take it now. Okay, I'm using only E23 TV, and it is an important, a very popular solver for solving the transient responses. And I'm very well step. Okay, that's all. Okay, check. Okay, and run the simulation. And you find the simulation result. Okay, this is the this is this is the way by which the current flow in the loops. The yellow shows the current flow in first loop, and blue in second loop. You can easily find that the steady state current is almost equal to something five. Yes, five. And if you go to circuit here. In steady state inductor behave as a short circuit and capacitor behave as open circuit and overall current will be almost uh, 10 ampere okay 2900 volt one minute how much this is volt this 100 volts this is 10 ampere 10 ohm and 10 ohm so it should be 10 10 20 and it should be 5 ampere okay that's all Okay friends, thank you for watching my video, that's all for today.